Hello and good morning and welcome to us getting ready to leave for our cruise. Home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> um, so today we started out our day by heading over to the airport because we needed to get Jackson's COVID test. So because Jackson is too young to be vaccinated, we do have to get a COVID test for him. He has to have a negative COVID test uh, between 24 and 72 hours before we head out on the cruise. So we did that today. We're leaving in just a couple days. And uh, so we, the, today was just the easiest day to do it for us. So we just headed over to the airport to get his COVID test because that was the easiest way for us to do it. It was $175 and it cost us $8 to park at the airport. So it was like almost $185. It was a bit, a bit pricey, but that's just what we have to do to go on the cruise. So I'm going to insert that footage in now where we went to the airport. Back once again at the airport. We're not going anywhere though. We are going to get Jackson his COVID test for the cruise. You excited to have them check your boogers, buddy? Uh -huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, there's a bike rack on the back of that truck that I almost ran into. All right, so yeah, that's where we're headed to. We've done this before and he's like really good at it. But this so. time, so the last time we came, we were able to make an appointment. This time we were not able to make an appointment. So I'm curious to see how long we're gonna wait. Yeah, not that there were the appointments were gone, the system was not working. Like I tried for four days to make an appointment. Yeah. And then I kept calling and they're like, yeah, sorry, our, our system's down. Fun, fun fact about the airport parking garages, they have animals to let you know what level you're on. So we're on the raccoon level. So before we get into the elevator, we look at this display here, this art display, and we see the raccoons in it. Oh, we didn't even realize there's a SeaWorld store in the airport. Look at that. Kind of like right across from the Disney store, which is right across from the Universal store. All right, Jackson, you're all done. You got your test done. You did it. We waited in line maybe like 30 minutes. How it wasn't bad. Go down. He oh, wants he, to go down the escalator. He's That's like, all that he's, he's like. I just care about the escalator. But he did. He did a really great job. Yeah. Yeah. He's. He didn't complain at all. No. Yeah. Okay, we can go down the escalator. All right. Well, we are waiting for the test results. Well done, just having a look in the Disney store. I don't know if this is new, but I've never seen it. Right? I've never seen this scarf either. Oh, yeah. It's cool. And the hat. Yeah. I like it. I like that it looks like pixel art. Oh, yeah. Look at these ears. Those are fun. And they're like fuzzy on ears. the inside. I bet these are more comfortable. Probably, but they also look like they're falling apart easier. Like oh, no. right here. Yeah. Look. These are $30. Oh, yeah. So this could be a good shirt to wear to Galactic Star Cruiser. Star Wars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sixty dollars but also in the collar here, it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Is this a little pillow? It is. What does it say? A snuggle sort of day, Winnie the Pooh. That's nice. It's a very soft pillow too. I don't know if this is something you all might be interested in, but before security, there is a food court here where they got Moe's, McDonald's, Panda Express, Sabaro, Chick-fil-A, Cinnabon, Auntie Anne's, and Firehouse Subs. There are more restaurants, but these are the quick service ones, like the faster ones. There's a photo op here for Walt Disney World that's in a teacup. You can sit in this golden teacup. It's for the 50th. It is huge. There's a Jackson for scale. Yeah, look at the size of this thing. He's a, he's a tall baby, but still. There he is. <laughs> is there a portal in there? Yeah. Wow. Hi. Oh, he says, I want to go for a ride. Oh, no. oh, this one doesn't move, buddy. This is just a photo op. I'm sorry. So we got our test results, and we're over here by security here where the fountain is near this Disney store. There's a second Disney store, but I've never seen this puffy jacket and I kind of love it. It's so soft and it feels like a comforter. Right? It's nice. How much is it? $80? $90. $90. Yeah. This store seems to be better. There's a lot more here. Like take for instance, Perfection, the Disney Parks Perfection. Oh and yeah. Jungle Cruise themed Hungry Hungry Hippos. This is really cool. If Jackson was old enough to play it, I would totally get it. Yeah, I like how there's an elephant and a rhino and a hippo and a lion. Like that's more than just oh, hippos and friends. And friends, yeah. Oh, okay. Disney villains clue. Oh yeah, look, it was the evil queen in on the other side with the scarab. Ooh. When we were in the other store, we found this bag. It's like a Mickey Mouse cross body bag. Wait, can I put it on you, buddy? Kind of neat. Can you show daddy? Let me see. Whoa, that's cool. I like that. You want to put the socks back? Let me take a picture of you. I kind of like it. There's also this Boba Fett crossbody bag that I kind of like. It's cool. And then there's this Star Wars. This is the shirt that we saw at the other store. But then there's this other like 
little tiny zip pullover next to it. And then there's this hoodie, which is a very thin hoodie, but this is for kids. I like it, it's cool. Yeah, I'll get a little bit further away so you can see. I like it a lot. Oh, there he is. We're inside of the SeaWorld store and Jackson found Gonger. There he is. I love him. What does Gonger say? He goes, uh, hags? We need to get some hags. I also like Slimy the Worm. Yeah. I like how Slimy's a classic character. That's neat. Yeah, I love this one. It's so soft. Welcome back. How wasn't that fun? <laughs> Honestly, it wasn't very long. It took about 30 minutes for the test to come back. We waited in line for about 10 minutes. So altogether, I would say with parking, getting through the airport and everything, we were probably there for about an hour. So not, not too bad. But then on the way home, what do we get for lunch? We got chicken salad. Yeah, we went to this place called Chicken Salad Chick. So we all got chicken salad sandwiches. So I got the Buffalo chicken salad sandwich and a little side of pasta salad. And they give you a little cookie. Jackson got just a plain chicken salad sandwich on a croissant. Oh, we all got them on croissants, which is, makes it a hundred times better. Yeah. He got a little broccoli salad because when I asked you what you wanted for lunch when we were leaving the airport, what did you say you wanted for lunch? I want to do it by myself. Oh, no. He said, I want broccoli for lunch. I want to do the clip my mind. You right did now. say that when we left the airport, yeah. His memory is so wild to me. Like, he just remembers everything now. Uh, but when we were leaving the airport, he wanted to clip himself in to the car seat, which isn't really something that he can do, but he wants to do everything himself. So that was the last thing he said to me was that he wanted to do it by himself. What did you get? I got the BLT. This is pimento. Oh yeah, we got a side. So they do have um, pimento cheese that they serve either on like a sandwich style or just with crackers. So you can kind of eat it as an appetizer and it is so good. Pimento cheese is so delicious. Very delicious. And then I got the, uh, the BLT on a croissant. So it's chicken salad, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. Yeah, and you can do any of their chicken salads. I just did their, they call it the classic carol. I, they have a whole it's bunch of different very styles. Spicy. Mine is very spicy. I have the this buffalo one. one. Mm -hmm. Here, this one. Oh, good. the pimento? No, yours isn't spicy. You didn't have any of the pimento yet. Oh, so we're going to eat our lunch and then I think we're going to start packing for the cruise. Yeah. We're gonna show you guys all of the all of the things we're bringing on the cruise and why we're bringing them. So uh, I'm excited to show you because I'm excited to go through and see, like, what we're bringing. I still don't really know. Spicy, buddy. Do you want to try it? I don't want to try it. Okay. It's very spicy. It's yeah. not very spicy. It's just a little tiny bit spicy. Do you want to try it or no? I don't want to try the spicy thing. Okay. Fine. Would you, you like have to have your sandwich on the croissant? All right. So. Sometime later, <laughs> Jackson went down for a nap directly after lunch. He was very tired. Um, or as he would say, he'd say, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> yeah. And then you edited. Yes. And then I watched Officer Crumpkey. He watched Krumpke? part of West Krumpke. Side Story. I watched part of West Side Story. It was good. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I ended up taking a little nap after I finished editing. I have been so incredibly tired lately. And, uh, ooh, my oven's ready. Your oven's ready? Yeah. It's oven so, time. <laughs> let me show you what I'm doing right now, actually, because it's, now it's so, it's so much later that it's dinner time. Oh, by the way, Jackson passed his COVID test. He's good, he's negative. He yeah. doesn't have COVID, so. Yay! We can go on a cruise. Yay, we're so excited. We he did, did a really great job, too. I know we talked a little bit about it at the airport, but he did such a great job. So I wanted to show you what we're having for dinner tonight. This is the fig glaze sweet potato with roasted broccolini and olive tapenade. I like the idea of the fig and the olive tapenade because those are two things that are really nice with like a charcuterie board or like a cheese plate. However, this doesn't have any cheese. So I don't know. I'm just excited to see how it all tastes together. So here's how we're starting it. I got my sweet potatoes cut in half. I have them with a little olive oil, a little salt. Same thing with my broccolini. Just trimmed them, a little olive oil, a little salt. These are cut side down. They're gonna go in the oven for 22 to 26 minutes. So, so far this fig glaze is minced parsley or like chopped parsley, minced garlic, and then roughly chopped Kalamata olives. I made a fig glaze, which is, wait, did I call this fig glaze? This is the tapenade. This is the fig glaze. This is balsamic glaze, and then I added a little bit of fig preserve to it. So I'm gonna put some of this in my tapenade, as well as some olive oil, and that's gonna be my tapenade. Okay, this is the finished olive tapenade, and I have to say, I just took a little taste of it. This is so nice. It's like sweet and salty. It's sweet, 
from the fig glaze and then salty from the olive and the garlic. This is really good. All right, so now that the sweet potatoes have cooked, I'm gonna flip them over. I put the rest of my fig glaze on top of the sweet potatoes here. I'm gonna broil these for like two to three minutes just to get the glaze nice and sticky. But I also put my roasted broccolini on my arugula and then I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of that olive tapenade to the top of that. Mix that all together, it's gonna be like a little, kind of almost like a little salad. And then once these are done, it'll be, I'll be ready to build my bowls. I've already put my green lentils. I don't know if I told you I was doing green lentils, but these are gonna go at the bottom of the bowl. Then I'll top them with these once they're done. And then with my little salad and then some pistachios and the rest of my tapenade. So let's put these back in the oven. So my sweet potatoes are done. Um, I, I think my, I think I let them broil just a little bit too long, but I only did it for like a minute. So if you make this recipe, I'll link it down below in case you want to check it out, but definitely keep an eye on them. So now I'm going to top this with my arugula salad. Hold on, I need another hand for this. This morning, Jackson asked for sunflower seeds and he asked for a spoon to eat his sunflower seeds with. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, are you able to do it? What is it that Bingo says? <laughs> yeah, this is trifical. All right, so it's actually the next day, and you're bet you're wondering why I'm wearing a hat. It's because Jackson wanted to wear his hat, and in order for him to wear his hat, he said, you have to wear yours too, Daddy, right? So now we're all wearing hats. See? Look at us. And you're drooling. Why are you drooling? You're so excited to wear hats? Yeah, that's the way that it goes. So we went out to lunch at this place called Boxy Park because it has the Jen's favorite lobster roll in the world. What's happening? They're singing Harry Styles for you. It's a live band singing Harry Styles. And Jackson's eating a hot dog. So what? Where? What, what do you mean? Just like right now in general? We're listening to a song, you're eating a hot dog. So the whole reason why I wanted to come here was for this lobster roll. This has Japanese mayonnaise, lobster, chives, and it's just on this delicious buttered roll. And then I got some crispy Brussels sprouts and they have like a spicy peanut sauce. Some fresh squeezed lemonade. And then I tried this hibiscus lime sour as well. It's very sour. How do you like your hot dog? Good? How's yours? It's pretty good, yeah. I just got like a regular chicken sandwich. Nice. The chicken place looked like it had one of the longer lines. Mm -hmm. And everything looked really good. Even their hot dog looked a little better than like a normal hot dog. Yeah, look at the bun on this. I know, I love on. these. The buns are so, I think they make it. Is this your dance, Jackson? Get dizzy. Looking good, buddy. So now we're back home from lunch. Um, by the way, it was it was kind of hard to film because there were a lot of people around us, mm -hmm. but lunch was so good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I loved my lobster roll. It had so much lobster. The Japanese mayo was wonderful. The, the roll was wonderful. My Brussels sprouts and uh, mushrooms were wonderful. It looked good. It was honestly like I had I'd been craving a lobster roll and that was the one that I really wanted. So thank you for taking me there. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> My chicken was pretty good. It wasn't like the best chicken sandwich I've ever had, but it yeah. was it was a decent chicken sandwich. If you ate lobster, I really think you would like that lobster roll. Okay. Yeah, well. but anyway, now, so we are leaving for your 40th birthday cruise tomorrow. Oh, we're gonna go on a 40th birthday cruise. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. So we leave tomorrow. We're gonna be packing up tonight because we leave, we leave early in the morning. Do you know what that means? No, what? That we're, we're packing right now. Yeah. This is our packing video. Yeah. We're going to show everybody what we're packing. Yeah. Fashion show. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want a fashion show? Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go do it. All right, so here it is. Embarkation day. This is a shirt that I got from Shore recently. Shore at Disney Springs is the name of the store. All of my shorts are Quicksilver shorts because I love them. And then I got my Sperry, my, my boat shoes. Oh, these are, these are the shoes that made you slip on the banana peel. The infamous banana peel shoes. Oh no. We'll see how they do on a boat. Give me a little a little spin. Do I look like I'm like on a cruising 40th birthday vacation? You do. I, I really like this shirt. Yeah, it's I don't nice. know what the, I think it's supposed to be like abstract flowers. Abstract? Yeah. Are like, they not actually flowers? I don't know. They look kind of like petals, flower petals oh, yeah, maybe? Yeah, it kind of looks more like brush strokes than anything, right? I think they're supposed to be flowers. I don't know. I think well, it looks really so. nice on you. Yeah. Feel right. good about it. Okay. Right? Yeah. You look very handsome. 
Thank you. All right, here's my embarkation day dress. I've worn this before. This is a dress that I've had. Um, I just got it at Lily Pulitzer at downtown Disney Springs. <laughs> I always want to call it downtown Disney, but I really like it. It's very comfortable. It feels like a t-shirt. So big, big fan of that. And then I just got these sandals at Lily Pulitzer too. They're just like flats. So I think this will be a comfortable one to wear because I'm not sure how quickly we'll be able to get into our room. So yeah, and then I also got this hat. Yeah, where'd you get the hat from? Oh, so this hat is from Shore, which is the store at Disney Springs where Tim got his first shirt. And um, they had a lot of really cute hats. So highly recommend checking them out if you're into hats. I think I'm a hat person now. Yeah, and this is an SPF or UPF hat. Yeah, so this is good for the sun. I also am bringing another hat, which you'll see in just a minute. But what do you think? I like hat it. Hat or no hat? I mean, I like the hat. I, I really, I think I like, just really like this hat. Here's my thing. What? If you're bringing a hat, mm -hmm. it's easier to wear it on the first day. Yeah, than carry than it around. Than to pack it. That's true. The other hat has a strap too, so that one I can just hook onto my bag. This one doesn't. Right. So, this is my first outfit. Whoa. Um, one more yeah. time. One more? One more time. You ready? <laughs> oh, 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 I didn't see you there. So yeah, so there's my first day outfit. So we haven't actually told you guys our itinerary on this ship, but very first day is Castaway Key. Like we leave port and then the next day we're at Castaway Key. Yeah, our second day. Second day is at Castaway Key. So this is what I'm going to be wearing. Sad fact is that because of my recent surgery, I can't get in the water. So we didn't know that when we booked this cruise. We booked this cruise a while ago. Yeah. And uh, we booked it for your birthday. And we were thinking, it's your birthday. You're going to be able to have so much fun. I'm going to go swimming with the, with everything. Yeah. Can't go swimming. So no. it'll be okay. Still going to have a lot of fun. Just going to do some relaxing. I think this will be a good you know? way for you to, it's going to force you to relax. Force me to relax. So there you go. So. But uh, we got this shirt when we were in Hawaii. Yeah, it's an Alani shirt. I love it. Let's Let's show the little mini scuba diving. Stitch in there, he's scuba diving. This is snorkeling. Oh, sorry, snorkeling. Yeah, I think yeah, this is such a cute- It's a little Alani symbol right there. Oh yeah, there you go. It's kind of hidden in there. Uh, I guess Tori Richards, Richard? Yeah, I think that's like a, um, a designer. I didn't know who it was, but I guess it's like a big uh, Hawaiian shirt designer. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so. Cool. Um, and then these pants, of course, Quicksilver, and then my Sperry's again. I might switch it out for some flip-flops because we're going on the island. I'd wear flip-flops. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what I'm wearing. Okay. There it is. Day two. Oh, are you going to wear your hat though? Um, maybe. I have this hat, so I might wear this too. Let's see. This hat is from the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Oh yeah, that's when we went to go see Winter and Nicholas. Yeah. So this might be the outfit, the full outfit. Yeah, you look really nice. I like it. Thank you. And then if I'm relaxing, I can take a nap like this. Yeah. <laughs> my old cowboy from the Wild West. This is my Castaway Key Day. This is my bathing suit cover up. This is another one that we got at Lily Pulitzer. And it's just a, um, I don't know, it kind of looks like coral. Yeah. Maybe a little sea grass. Yeah, seaweed. And it does button all the way down, so I can open it up to show my bathing suit and just wear it fully open. So I do have my bathing suit on underneath. I just got this at Target. It's from one of those like slimming kind of bathing suit brands. I really like it actually, and it does have like a little little ruffle detail on the sleeve. So it's a little, I don't know, a little more exciting. So I can wear it like this, I can wear it open. I also have this hat, but I also have this hat. Well, yeah. So this one is much better for the sun. It's like, it's more covered. So I may wear this one, we have matching hats. So I may wear this one, may wear the other one. I don't know, it just depends on how like fancy I wanna be. Right. So. There's that. I think the other one definitely matches better, but this one is easier and better for the sun. Yeah, I don't. I think I'm just more concerned with like I don't. I don't want to get sunburned. Right. So, um, so yeah, I think I might do this one. Also, Jackson has a matching hat as well, so we're very excited to all wear fun matching hats. So, this is my Castaway Key um, outfit. But when we get back on the ship, it'll be about dinner time. So I have a different dress that I'm gonna wear for dinner because this is really just a cover up. It's not like actual clothes. So let me show you that one. So this is the dress I'm gonna wear to dinner after Castaway Key. It's just easy. It was another one from Lily Pulitzer and it has a little three quarter sleeve. It feels like a t-shirt dress. It's kind of that like baby doll cut. So it's not super form fitting. So I feel like I can eat on the cruise and not feel super self-conscious, you know, after eating all these wonderful meals. And then it is just kind of a little more like flowy, a little more, I don't know, kind of fun, kind of whimsical, you know? Yeah. So. 
And you're wearing those same sandals with it. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to wear these little dressy flip-flops with it because that should be totally fine for dinner. So this will be after Castaway Key, after we've spent all day in the sun. I think this will be nice. So on day three, this isn't what I'm going to wake up and put on. We do have <laughs> brunch at Remy at like noon. So this is what I'm going to be wearing to Remy and then I'll put on the outfit that I'm going to wear afterwards. I just I wanted to put this on first. So uh, I'll probably tuck the shirt in too. Just I was being lazy right now. Uh, this, you look so handsome. Thank you. I think you look so nice. We don't really dress up a whole lot, so it's just nice to see you in like a nice outfit. Thank but you. But this jacket, so you actually got this jacket at the, I think it's a penguin jacket. Yeah, the, the pants and the jacket are both from Penguin, the outlet. Yeah, it, they were like going out of business or something. Uh, no, they're still in there. I don't oh, know are what's they? going on. Oh, well, it was. This jacket got... was like $20 or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was like, so ridiculous. super cheap. This is like a $200 jacket. Yeah. And then the pants, I think, were also very cheap. I remember they were... I had to talk you into this into this outfit. Yeah. And I, I'm so happy that you listened to me because you look so good. You look so nice. And the shoes. So these are the oh. shoes that we got at Sperry, your yeah. drivers. These are my drivers. They look so good. Yeah. I am they so excited to have brunch with you dressed like this. Very comfortable. Yeah. It's basically like I'm wearing slippers. Like right you're now. wearing nothing at all. It's like, it feels like I'm wearing nothing <laughs> at all. Now, I want to show you guys what I'm wearing to brunch. And I, I feel like we're going to clash. It's okay. My outfit is very bright. I never understood why people were concerned about matching because their pictures. Dates. Like uh, when we take our pictures, I don't want to clash with you. I want to look it's nice. It's more fun to clash. Yeah. Did you didn't you ever see what Pam and Tommy wore to the premiere of Barbed Wire? Oh, they I, did not match. <laughs> well, here, let me put my outfit on, and then we'll show us together, and we'll see how much we clash. Okay. Whoa! Look at you. Okay. Did I blind you? <laughs> no. It's pretty bright. So this was a um, like an eyelet style dress. This is another one from Lily Pulitzer, and it has these really fun um, like puffy sleeves, which I think are so cute. And then it's just like this kind of baby doll style dress. So again, it's not super tight, so I feel like I can eat and I won't be self conscious. And it has pockets. Look. Oh yeah. Isn't that fun? It is. I love it. I think this is so cute. I orange is my favorite color, so like I this was the perfect dress. I just yeah. I had to get it. And then I got these shoes from Target. Oh yeah, those are nice. So they're just little, like a shorter heel. The heels that I wore the last time we went to Remy were so uncomfortable, but they were the only heeled like shoe that I had. Yeah, we didn't go out and buy anything no. beforehand. It was just kind of like a, oh, we got reservations to Remy, cool. Okay, we're leaving very soon. We didn't have time to buy anything. So this time I wanted to make sure that I was more comfortable. This is very now, nice. Now come stand with me and let's see if we clash. Okay. I kind of think we do. <laughs> No, I think orange and blue go together. Yeah, but you have on red pants. You see? You think it'll be okay? It'll be fine. Okay. All well, of our pictures will be taken sitting down. That's true. It'll be good. So yeah, so because this is for brunch, I also felt like a brighter color was going to be nice and like fun. Yeah. So I'm excited for the brunch. It's a champagne brunch and it is, I think like a prefix menu. I, everybody that I talked to said that it was really, really just like a, a nice way to spend like your brunch, your afternoon, your yeah. morning. So I can't wait to try it. I love brunch. I'm super excited. And it's a French brunch, so it'll, oh. it'll feel nice and fancy for your birthday. I hope we get crepes and toast. So after brunch, I feel like I'm probably not going to be wearing that dress all day. So I'm just going to change into like, this is one of my workout shirts, jean shorts, some flip flops, like super casual flip flops. And of course my new favorite hat, uh, if I'm not in my bathing suit. So it'll either be this or just my bathing suit and my cover up. Um, and then we move on to dinner and this night I believe is going to be pirate night. I don't have anything super piratey. We had talked about doing like a pirate themed outfit and then time just like got away from us. So I just have like a kind of just a casual dress to wear. Um, let me show you that one. And this is my only outfit that's not super bright. I just got this at Target. It's just a, a, a like a, an olive green, I almost said navy green, <laughs> like an army green, I guess. Little dress, there's like a, a ruffle sleeve. I'm just gonna wear it with my super casual flip-flops. What, what are those flip-flops? Oh, they're Javianas. Okay. So there's a Javiana store at Disney Springs. You can get them there, but you can also get them at like a lot of surf shops and stuff. I've had these for like over 10 years. Yeah. They're really good flip-flops. Highly recommend checking them out. I love mine, mm -hmm. but this is just a really comfortable, Target dress. Very, I like it. Yeah, super happy with it. Again, it's another one that's not very form fitting. Love that. <laughs> and then you will talk like a pirate for the entire night. I'll talk like a pirate. 
time? Mm. <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> so after brunch, I will switch into something a little bit more comfortable. This is another uh, shirt from Alani. I love it. It's like a nice pink color. It's kind of like a reddish, like a light red, like a relaxed red almost. Okay. You got goofy snorkeling in there. Yeah. I like that it's subtle. Yeah. And then I think there's an Alani. Yeah. It's on the turtle. On the turtle? There yeah. it is. This I think is another Tory Richard one. I think so. Yeah. And then just khaki, quick silver pants. And then you're going to uh, go barefoot? I'm going to go barefoot. I mean, <laughs> I might. I'll either, I'll probably wear my flip flops. Yeah. Let me grab those really quick. I'll show you my flip flops. So these are my reef flip flops. They are the kind that are like, uh, Sunok has a pair that's like beer koozie foam or like yoga mat. These are, yeah, these are like yoga mat ones. Memory, yeah. memory foam. Memory foam, but these are the, uh, the reef version. Yeah. So yeah. You there look nice, is. nice and comfortable. Feels comfortable, feels good. Yeah, you like, look very cute. This is probably cute. the most comfortable outfit that I have. Well, the first day, like embarkation day is pretty comfortable too, but. Yeah. You're like made for cruising, good. I feel I'm like. I'm made for cruising. <laughs> so this was the, the big part about the cruise is that it is a double dip into Castaway Key. So we only go Castaway Key, day at sea, Castaway Key. So this is our second Castaway Key day. And this is what I'm gonna wear. I'm a Castaway Key stand. This is my Castaway Key shirt. I love it. There it is. Jackson has a matching shirt as well. Yeah. So. What's going on here? All the little strings are coming out around the buttons. Oh no. Hmm. Disney. Disney. Uh, and then you've got your new blue shorts. I just got these in the mail today. They are Quicksilver as well. Oh yeah, your flip flops. Yeah, you look nice. You look very comfortable. So you're going to wear this to Castaway Key, but you're also going to wear it to dinner. Yeah, I'll just wear it all day long. Yeah. So you're I mean, not getting in the water or anything. So no, you, you shouldn't yeah. be super. I might get a little sweaty, but like. It's a cruise. That's cruise life, baby. It's cruise life, baby. <laughs> hey, it's just me and my favorite hat again. Look at you in your hat. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear my hat. I'm gonna wear this dress, which is, it's kind of more like a sailing dress. It's got like little sailboats, little people, you know, swimming, beach balls, you know. Kind of reminds me of like Riviera. It's like nautical scenery. Yeah, Riviera, yeah. I would say, yeah. I'm gonna wear this because it sort of matches you and Jackson's probably gonna wear his matching shirt. So we'll kind of have like a family matchy matchy outfit i'm gonna wear a different bra that you won't see um but yeah and then i have my hat my dress this is from shore at disney springs and i'm gonna wear my shoes from target look at you so it's a little bit a little little dressy but very comfortable still so which... this is after castaway key mm -hmm. and then just for dinner just for dinner yeah because i feel like i'm like i showed you earlier i'm probably going, going to be in my bathing suit all day because we were at castaway key last time right up until dinner right so I'll, I'll change out of my bathing suit into this and then just probably straight into pajamas after that yeah this is my sad outfit because this will be the when we're debark debarking yeah debarkation day so this is a, yeah an alani shirt super fun very flowy very like comfortable yeah you look very comfy yeah because i feel like we'll be like worn out by the end of the cruise yeah. So you gotta put on something You nice should not be worn out. You should be, should be very relaxed. Be That's the go. point of this cruise. Um, yeah, and then just another pair of um, Quicksilver shorts. You're gonna wear your flip flops home? No, I think I'll wear the Sperry's home. My yeah. boat shoes. Okay. Just to like start off the cruise with boat shoes and the cruise <laughs> with boat shoes. Okay. Plus, those are harder to pack, so it's easier to pack the flip flops. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's you smart. Know, it's the things you have to think about. Very smart. This is it. Yeah. Okay. This is just a normal Alani shirt. A lot of different like hang loose, zip line, Koalina, Hawaiian. But then also so life. on the last day, all we're doing is packing up, getting off, eating our breakfast and leaving. Right. So that's, yeah, we're, we're literally just going to be wearing this for the drive home basically. Yeah. So you want to make sure you have a comfortable outfit on because you'll be driving in it. Yeah. And what are you wearing? I am wearing, this is another Lily Pulitzer outfit. So I have my white scallop shorts. Uh, these are super comfortable. They're kind of like a thick cotton or like a thick, I don't know, like a thick soft material. And then this is just a, a like a purpley blue tank top. It's very flowy. So it feels it's not super constricting. I like that. It's also um, reversible. So the other side is like this bright kind of seagrass kind of a thing. Yeah. So if you're feeling like exciting on oh, the I last could day. Switch it up. Switch it up. Could be bright. Like halfway through, like you could start out dinner wear, or breakfast wearing this. Yeah. And then like pop into the bathroom real quick, flip it inside out, come back out, totally new outfit. They'd be like, Jen, did you bring an extra shirt? And I'd be like, you just got punked. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher shows up. <laughs> He's like, oh, you thought you had two shirts? Punked. 
right? Um, and then so, they steal Frankie Munez's car. That's true. I think that'll probably happen on the last day. <laughs> I'm also going to wear my dressier sandals. And, but they're flats, so they're super comfy. And then we're going to be sad and drive home from our cruise. Yeah. So that's the whole, that's it. That's everything. Yeah. Everything it's, we're it's, bringing. A, it's a little short cruise. Yeah. We're going to be there for five days and four nights. Yeah. So I feel like it's enough time to, you know, feel cruisy, mm-hmm. but we're definitely going to be ready for the next one, I think. Oh, yeah. I think it's just going to get us like, like we need to get on the next one soon. Yeah. You know? Um, also, so Jackson's asleep right now, but as soon as he wakes up, we'll also show you what he's wearing as well. His clothes are in his room, so I don't want to wake him up. But he's got a lot of really cute little Hawaiian shirts, so I'll show you those too. There it is. One of his outfits. Come over here. Come closer to me. Looking <laughs> good? Looking so good? this is a matching Hawaiian shirt and shorts set that we got at Target. Okay. <laughs> and you look very cool. Can you turn around? Give a spin. Spin around. Whoa, nice. <laughs> good job, buddy. Cool. All right, another outfit. We got this dinosaur shirt from Target. Wait, come back. Let me see. Where are you going? Can you do a spin? Oh, man, you look so cute. The yeah, we'll have to oh, take that yeah. off before we go anywhere, I, buddy. I We're just testing it on you. They got off of my shirt. I will. I'll take it off. I just we will. We just needed to you. check and make sure it fits you first, buddy. Yeah. Look at this one, bud. Okay, this is gonna be, this is the one that matches the shirt that I have. Your Castaway Key shirt. And so he's going to wear this on the second <laughs> Castaway Key day, I think. Can you do a big spin? Whoa, yeah, looking yeah, good. Yeah, you look cute. All right, and they all <laughs> fall down. So this is a shirt from Alani, and I think we're gonna try to tuck it in maybe. <laughs> we're not sure. Because it's very long. It's a little big. A little big on him. But you look so cute. It's so big. It is yeah. big. So this will be day at big. sea. My, my clothes one. Your For, clothes are big? Yeah. Mm. Who's on your shirt? Clothes on my shirt. Clothes are on your shirt? Do you see a turtle on your shirt? Is that Olu? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does he have a guitar? Oh, yeah, that's what you were going to say. That's a guitar. It's the ukulele. Can you say can ukulele? You, ukulele. Good yeah, job. Good job. Can you spin around? Give a big spin. Can you can I spell it? Can I spell it? Ukulele? U K E L E U K L E L E. I think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Good so, job. So this will be day at sea dinner time. You look very cute. And then the rest of what he's going to wear is just going to be like the normal stuff that he always wears, casual well, outfits. he has, I might bring this one too, because this is another one from Alani. Okay, this one's a little bit better. Like, it is a little bit big in the shoulders, but it's <laughs> yeah. not as long. What do so, you think? So, it's kind of up in the air between this one and the Ulu Mel one that he was just wearing. I think we'll bring them both. Do you like Olumel? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ulu Mel, sorry. Do you like it, buddy? He's just looking at his buttons. <laughs> Yeah, there's a button buttons. There. Can you give me a big spin? Nice. <laughs> all right, so that's it. And then the rest of what he's going to wear is just going to be like his normal casual outfits that he wears all the time, just like t-shirt and shorts and stuff like that. Yeah. So that is what Jackson is wearing on his cruise. All right. So that's it. That's everything that we're packing. What? One more thing. I oh. forgot to show you. Jackson got some new swim shorts. They got little flamingos on them. Yeah, these were cute. They were from Target. They were 10 bucks. Nice. So that's the last thing. That's it. Yeah. I want to that everything's packed. Yeah, so I think we're gonna probably end the vlog here. It's it's really like about dinner time. It's 5 30, but we need to I have to edit this video before we leave. We gotta finish packing all of our toiletries and then we need to go to bed early so we can get up and go on a cruise. Yeah, let's do it. So we have our 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 time to get on the ship is pretty early. Yeah. So I think we're gonna have a lot of time on the ship on the first day, which is very exciting. Yeah, we have, we have like a ton of time. Yeah, but that means that we have to go to bed early. Right. So So all in all, a fantastic day. Yeah. Excited for the cruise. Excited, it's like a big birthday cruise. Thank you guys for hanging out with us these past couple of weeks too. We appreciate you like being patient with us with all the home vlogs. Tim has been recovering. How do you feel? I feel good. You feel, I feel ready to cruise? Yeah, I feel ready to cruise. I feel good enough that I wouldn't second guess myself picking up Jackson. I know that I'm not going to. I was going to say, but we're not going to. But I feel like it wouldn't hurt me to pick him up. But we are not going to chance it. No, I'm not. I'm I, just telling I'm... you that's how I feel. Okay, okay. 
The I only just, thing that bothers me right now is my incisions are a little bit like itchy. Yeah. But that's fine. Hopefully that'll go away once the like glue comes all the way off. Mm -hmm. So, and then we also eventually, um, soon after the cruise, we're going to get your knee checked out. Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen the video where he slipped on a banana peel, I'll link that down below. It was the scuba diving video. Uh, but because of that, now we have to go to the doctor again. Right. Because that's what it's like getting older. You're just <laughs> slipping on banana peels, going to doctors, getting surgeries. <laughs> right. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and being patient with us with all of these home vlogs. Get ready for cruise vlogs because they're coming up. Yeah. And then after that, it's like back at it with yeah. like park vlogs. We have a Star Cruiser stay coming up. Very excited. Lots of exciting things happening. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.